Uh, today I am doing an open cup pour. I haven't done one in a few videos. I really enjoy the open cup pours. Um, it's a good way to use up extra paints that you have laying around. It's already mixed up. You can always thin them down or thicken them up. Um, so these are on the thicker side. But I'm hoping what I'm going to get out of this is some great cells, but also um, I'm planning on stretching it out and moving my open cup around when I pour. So it's going to create some very natural, distinct lines instead of me having to wreck it with a stick or something. So let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm repurposing a canvas. This is a 24 by 24. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do an open cup pour. I'm using leftover paint, so I really can't tell you every single color what it is, but I'll show it to you anyways. Um, what I did to prep this canvas, I didn't gesso it, so what I did is I took sandpaper and roughed it up because this particular painting had some bronze, and I find a lot of times like gold, bronze, your metallic colors, the paint has a harder time sticking to them. So instead of uh, putting gesso down, I went ahead and just sanded it with a light grit sandpaper. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a black base. So this here is my Artist Loft soft body in the black. This is a combination of a red, two reds. I know one of them was the, I believe, Carmine Red from Amsterdam. And then the other one, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was like a Pebeo Red Blue. Uh, this here was the Pebeo orange, orangish yellow. And this was the lemon yellow from artist, or excuse me, Amsterdam. This is a combination of turquoise, I believe, in, um, from artist law, no, excuse me, Liquitex Basics. And I think a little aqua from Amsterdam. This is a blue, a combination of a bunch of blues together. I have no idea what they all were. And this was a purple and pink I mixed together. Uh, I don't remember what they were either because I have a bunch of leftover paints. I'm trying to get rid of them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an open cup and then I am probably going to move the cup around a couple of places and then I'm gonna spin out the canvas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna put some black down here. And I cut off a little 10 ounce cup because I wanna keep the cup fairly small. So I'm gonna set that down in the black. My paints are mixed together with Liquitex Gloss Medium Floetrol and some water. Normally, I would put down some black to seal up the cup, but I've got enough black down there. So, in open cup pours, I tend to pour up high. That way, the paint sinks down below the base coat. This is what's going to create cells. I'm going to continue to pour the paints, and they're going to ooze out. And that's how you get your cells. There's no silicone in any of these paints. So, I'm going to start off with my red, pouring up high. Gonna go in and kind of sink down below that black. Same thing, orange. I'm gonna sink below that red. And as it sinks below, it's pushing the color out from the black. The yellow. Turquoise, and you're starting to see the color come out. The blue. Do a lot of that purple. Color starting to really come through the black already. Now normally for an open cup pour, I would thin my paints down a little thinner 
and I kept them a little on the thicker side. I wanna see what's gonna happen on the thicker side versus the thin side. But you can really see the colors starting to come up through the black. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tilt this and let this move a little bit. Kind of give this a little rotation out and I'm gonna put the cup here on the edge gonna fill this up with just a little bit of black also gonna give a little black around this edge here as well we're gonna see where these paints go when I pour this time A lot of red. A lot of orange. Yellow. Turquoise. That really created a different pattern compared to over here. Twist this out this way. Next one, I'm gonna throw right down here on this side. Fill it up a little bit with black here on the edge to get black paint in there. And then I'm gonna seal around, give it some paint to move. So let's go the opposite way with this one. Let's put purple first. For this one, I'm, I'm just going to tilt a little bit back this way, move that cup of paint. I'm going to spin it out towards this edge, just kind of lifting and turning. Pour some more black in here.
I'm gonna rotate my cup out this way. Lifting and pulling, lifting and pulling, lifting and pulling, bringing my cup around here to the edge. Still keeping my paint there. Well, first of all, let's look and see where all the weight of the paint is. Let's go over here. Bring it back here. Center. this a torch.
All right, guys, here we are. Wow, so cool. Love all the lines. Loving the cells, beautiful composition. Let me bring you in here up close. I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the dried result. Love the finished result. I can't wait to get some resin on this. That's really gonna bring these colors back to life and it's just gonna give it a great shine. It's gonna be really cool. Let me bring you in here. All right, everyone, that's it for today. What a success. Beautiful, beautiful, dry results. Um, I got a little unleveling here. It's almost like a streak, but it really looks natural. I think I might have left a little too much paint on the canvas, but still, it dried well. And what I'll do is I will definitely put resin on this one because of that line. The resin will fill that in but it really gives it a, um, uh, a galaxy feel. So that's why I called this one a galaxy open pour. Uh, so you guys, let me know what you think down there in the comments below. Really, really love open cup pours though. They're a lot of fun. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I think uh, Feral Art Kelly is coming up next. So let's head on over to her channel. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.